Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Chai. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get a selected radio button value in ASP.NET Core React.js and Redux application. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice when I click radio button red, see here we got the red value, blue, green, blue, red. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Visual Studio 2019. Just for the time saving, I have created one ASP.NET Core React.js Redux application. Let's open Solution Explorer. And this is our application contains some default folders. The client app folder contains all our client side application. Inside this client app, there is a source folder which contains the components. Here we'll add our components. Let's add one new component called uh, JavaScript file. I'm selecting the file name is radio value. Get radio value. Get radio value. Add. And here we got our component. So first we need to import react class from react library after that let's define a class get radio value extends component and after that this component contains a constructor inside this constructor there is a super method inside this super method i'm defining one state property here contains a data and after that this function this component contains a main method called render inside this render i'm adding the return method inside this return method i'm adding the input let's add the do tag here which is a root component inside this root component i'm adding one center tag center tag let's add the radio button element radio and value is equals to let's add red here red red is a label i'm adding some space here and bsp just for the demo purpose i'm adding only three radio buttons green and this one also green this one is blue and this one is blue Here we forgot to close the component. That's the reason we are getting some errors here. Now after that, we need to export default my component name get radio value. Now my aim is when a user clicks any particular radio button, I want to display that value on the browser. So here I'm adding get value is an event. Inside this event, I'm adding this dot set state. Set state is a method data colon e dot target dot value. And this event we need to add here do element. div element now inside this div i'm adding on change event is equals to this dot get value dot bind this if you want you can add this on change event for every button control every radio button element instead of adding in div container 
Now here the most important step is we need to add or group them this radio button. So there is a property called name or RB radio button. Let's add this name property to all radio button elements. Now it became a group. Now to display the values, I'm adding this dot state dot data. Let's put this in a strong, strong, stable strong. I'm pressing strong tag. Inside this strong, I'm adding the selected radio value is this one. That's it let's save this application before run this application we need to configure our component in index.js file that file you get in this uh, source folder notice the here index.tsx file open that one in the index.tsx file the, the root and the render method contains uh, the default component is app component but I want to render my value get radio value so once I add this component notice here it's imported automatically let's save this application or build a solution we'll check the final output in this application and here we got the final output of our application notice when I click radio button red so here we got the red value blue green blue red that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to get a selected radio button value in asp.net core react.js redux application thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel